Yeah, hi there, this is uh, TuxOcha.com. Welcome on my video channel. A couple of days ago, DXO released a new app, and that is Pure Raw. Pure Raw is supposed to be an app to be used prior before regular image processing in your favorite raw converter, like for example Lightroom or Capture One or Adobe Photoshop. And that sounds a little bit funny is that you should use an app to convert or process your raw images and then later on, like for example in Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom, you do the further image processing. But uh, on the other hand, uh, Pure Raw includes the implementation of Deep Prime, which you already saw on the DxO Photolab 4 review, which it is a high quality noise reduction tool and far more superior than, for example, at least in my opinion, to pass the denoi noise AI. So I downloaded a trial version from uh, DxO Pure Raw and tried it out. So let's go over to the desktop PC and have a look look at some examples. Okay, I downloaded uh, DxO Pure Raw as a trial version, and we started here. And the uh, surface is uh, kept quite simple. So we just go to the uh, file menu to the preferences. And the only settings you got there is the language for the application and the selection for your graphics card, which is uh, used for the uh, D prime acceleration. Okay, and then here you can add your images, your raw images, either by um, adding the photos or by marking them and drag and drop them to the application. We just make this one, select here those images, which are all shot with uh, different Lumix cameras. Now you can see here the um, previews of the uh, raw images. And if I deselect, let's say here, the uh, other images stay, just like this one here. And uh, maybe before, if you process an image, you will pop up with this dialog that are the uh, DxO optics modules that are modules for every lens and camera combination to avoid or clear chromatic aberration, distortion, and of course, noise. If you downloaded them once, that is all set for the uh, future and this dialogue only will pop up again if you will process a new combination of either lens and or camera body. Okay, now we process this image here. Then you got another dialogue. The first is the raw processing method that is high quality prime or deep prime. The uh, prime and high quality are pretty good, but of course in terms of noise reduction, not as good as deep prime. Here you can take a look on my video on DxO Photolab 4. And I advise you to just stick with the deep prime method. The uh, application estimates the uh, duration or processing time to process this raw and another choice you got here is the uh, output format either uh, dng negative files or jpeg but since uh, pure raw understands itself as a software which is used in as uh, pre-production before you use a regular raw converter you should use, of course, the DNG format. Of course, for a quick conversion, you could use the uh, JPEG output format, for example, exporting some images to social media or other things. But remember, you don't have any other corrections in this software. You don't have a, a correction for exposure, for white balance, for 
the uh, crop of the image and so forth. So that might not really be useful. And the third choice you get here is either store the resulting DNG files into a subfolder DXO, as you can see here, or define a custom folder where the uh, DNG files are stored in. Okay, we process that. Okay, now you get the yeah, last dialog. That is either to view the results in the application. That is what we want to do now. Go to the Explorer, which uh, chosen to view the results and export to. But first we will view the result here on the Pure Raw application. And here you can see that's uh, before after. Go to the one-to-one -one display. And here you can see that the original RAW is a little bit unsharp and of course pretty noisy because it was shot, as you can see here with the ISO setting of 3200, which is quite a bit for a small Lumix camera. But that are almost the same results in sharpening and of course noise reduction as already mentioned in my re review of the DxO Photolab application. Okay, we quit that. But as you can see here, the uh, the application didn't make any white balance or change the white balance, and you don't have a rule or any setting for this or like exposure or anything else. And now we will process all the images. And of course, you get the calculation in about two minutes. We fade out and come back after all images are processed. Okay, the uh, results are now stored in a DXO subfolder, as you can see here for the DNG files. And now you can do viewing the results again or export to another application. And here I choose Lightroom Classic or here Photoshop 2021. Uh, Photoshop does work, but here the selection for Lightroom Classic doesn't work. If I select here Export, that means that uh, Adobe Lightroom Classic should start the import dialog. It uh, changes here to the Lightroom Classic application, but there is no import started. But okay, we are here already in the uh, Lightroom catalog. I made a collection from those images from the raw process by Lightroom and the one done by DxO Pure Raw. And let's take, for example, these two here and make a comparison here. Oh, oops, like this, do a comparison and make a full screen. And now you get here the uh, raw image from the camera processed so far in Lightroom. And here you got the same images or same image from uh, Pure Raw. And I think that is a sharpness being overdone. So it might be a good idea to have a ruler or any setting to reduce sharpening in the output DNG files. If we take then, for example, high ISO image, we take this one that was shot at ISO 3200. Do, do the same comparison here. And here we got the raw file Lumix. And here you can see, I hope you can see it, of course, with the compression in YouTube. Here the quite heavy noise. And here you got a very clean image processed in pure raw. But that is only true, at least the examples I used here show this, that is only true in higher ISO images, like here again, you got here the ISO 800, and here you got the noise reduction that is pretty superb, and a little bit sharpness, as you can here see here in the logo, which uh, adds a lot to the image and makes it a lot better. But for another comparison, we take another ISO 200 shot, like this one. 
And here we got the same result, in, at least in my opinion, that is here you got the DNG file, which is, is in my opinion, is over sharpened. As you can see, the uh, surface of the app is kept pretty simple. You don't have any settings to do. The only setting is your language, which is normally set to your default from your uh, operating system. And the other hand, you might be some support for your video graphics card installed on your computer. And then the only th thing is you just drop down your raw images into pure raw, do the development and the raw images are converted to DNG files which include optical corrections like uh, chromatic aberration and of course the noise reduction. Since DixO Pure Raw uses DNG files, you can then use any program which is able to read DNG files. You're probably on the safe side if you are using Adobe uh, Photoshop or Lightroom Classic for example. Of course the uh, DNG files are pretty big compared to the original RAW files. In my case with the uh, Lumix files, the uh, DNG files uh, increased the uh, size of two or three times uh, that of the original RAW files. So you end up with uh, DNG files between 55 and 70 megabyte per image. And then you have the question, do you delete the raw file or keep both in just in case? You mainly have uh, two possible workflow in my opinion. That is either use uh, DxO Pure Raw for all images or just for those with uh, high ISO settings. I prefer the later one. Because as you could see in the examples, the uh, shots with uh, normal ISO settings around ISO 100 or 200 from my Lumix cameras are, at least in my opinion, overly sharp. So I wouldn't advise to use uh, DxO Pure Raw on uh, raw images with uh, lower ISO settings. On the other hand, I had some troubles using the export feature from DxO. That means exporting the uh, DNG files into Lightroom Classic. That didn't work at all. It is supposed to open up the import window, but that didn't work in my installation on Windows 10. And uh, at last, DxO Pure Raw costs around 90 euros at the time. It will cost later on $129.99 and I think both prices, even though Deep Prime is a very good noise reduction tool, is a little bit too high, at least in my opinion. Or otherwise, for that price, I would expect that uh, DxO implemented a regular export plugin with this app. So you export the image, the raw image from, uh, let's say, Lightroom and then re-import the DNG file resulting from the conversion in DxO Pure Raw. Maybe you place in the comments what do you think about DxO Pure Raw and if you use it or if it is an alternative to, to pass the noise AI. I think yes, because Deep Prime is very good. Or if you have any other questions, then you could place them in the comments too, or in the comments of the corresponding blog posts. And uh, if this video was a little bit helpful for you, you may might think about placing a like on the video. And I would appreciate it even more if you subscribe my channel, but then don't forget to hit the bell. So you get a notification email every time I upload a new video. Okay, that was my little re review on DxO Pure Raw. And I have to t say, till the next time, ciao, tux oche.